What's up, guys? Tony here from Paradise Garage and Learn Auto Body and Paint.com. Hope you are doing well. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me and see me super quickly. Um, just checking the audio and video. We should be good. We should be good. Um, all right. So just type in the chat if you are a Learn Auto Body VIP member or not. Sorry, I'm like two minutes late, but uh, people are going to be strolling in any minute soon. Uh, what's up, Arnold Ricchetti, VIP North Carolina, loud and clear, awesome. I can hear you. What's up? Chris says loud and clear. Um, CDP Performance says what's up? What's up, guys? How many newbies on tuning on for the first time? How many brand new VIP members that never tuned on before tuning in today? Uh, let me know. Um, anyway, this is your time. We're going to talk about auto body for the next 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to answer your questions and we have a new video coming out in the next two days or so on uh, Thursday, most likely Wednesday or Thursday on a gate aluminum gate that I painted over the weekend with single stage acrylic enamel. All right. Um, I, I'm having a gate built for the front entrance of the house, 17 foot wide gate, uh, and all raw aluminum custom welded in the garage. So you're going to, you guys are going to get some sneak peeks on the welding fabrication, uh, and, and the build that went into this gate and epoxy priming and painting two coats. And there was also an issue because I ran out of hardener with the epoxy like i don't know when i moved from one house to the other the past few months i think i left a can a pint of my hardener at the other house so i only had a pint and i needed more hardener um and i mixed another hardener up with it figuring it would work because sometimes it does work but i didn't have single stage hardener i had epoxy primer hardener and i mixed that in it looked okay, but when I was spraying it out, it started like coming out like splatter paint. There was like a little chemical reaction. So we had a small issue, so I just stopped painting. I wanted to put three coats on it, but I ended up just finishing off with two coats. It came out okay. It's a gate. You know, it's not gonna it's not a showpiece show car or, or a car for that matter, but it came out good. We got two coats of two coats of paint on it. One little area is a little screwed up, but it's not bad. I can always sand it. And just touch that, you know, just touch that part up if I want to later. But that's what happened. I have footage of the whole thing. Okay. They're actually working on it right now, um, mounting it, putting the track in on the floor and the driveway and just doing all of that right now. So uh, you guys are going to get videos of that. That's what I painted this past weekend. But anyway, um, just checking in the chat here. Hold on. Let me just go to the chat here. Let me just flash a banner and say thank you guys for streaming with us today and welcome Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP members. Um, if you're a VIP, again, type in the chat VIP just so we can see how many VIPs are on. Um, and if you're a newbie, uh, check out LearnAutoBodyandPaint.com to get more information on auto body, including some free training, some free guides, free PDFs and books and, and all that stuff. So check it out at LearnAutoBodyandPaint.com. Um, so we got VIP from Ohio, Chris, Jerry VIP from San Antonio, uh, LABAP VIP first time tuning in mechanic. Number one, what's up mechanic VIP from Dallas. We got Russ in the house. What's up, Russ. You've been here many times. I know, I know you, I know you Russ, <laughs> uh, VIP Indiana. All right, so let's go back to this over here. All right, so what are you guys working on? Any new projects, any auto body questions, concerns? You're working on something. You don't know uh, the step to take. You don't know what paint to use. You, you're kind of in the middle. Let us know. I'm just here chilling in the Paradise Garage bus and um, just tuning on for you because it's your time right now. Uh, Lou Sickens. Lou, okay, what's up, Lou? VIP. All right, so what's up? Any auto body questions? Let me know. We could talk about that and your projects moving out. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Okay, so what is the stats here? We got we got about 26, 27 people on the line, and uh, it's your time. How are you guys doing? How was your weekend? It's Monday evening. It's still 2 p.m. here in Hawaii. Sun's still out, as you can see. Um, and you guys on the East Coast, it's like 8, 7 p.m. Central. So what's up? What's going on, guys? This is your time. Okay, let's see here. CDP Performance says, the buddies I had last week, we talked about my PPG, the Fleet Essential single stage. They went away after seven days since painted. Oh, the bubbles, you mean. The bubbles? That's kind of weird. So it's all good now, huh? Uh, Guy Tuber, Tony, do you suggest buying salvage title cars? Uh, well, I mean, if you're going to flip them, I would rather get non-salvage, but you can get good deals with salvage, right? And it all depends on price. Having a truck media blasted, when it comes back bare metal, I want to use Tamco Epoxy. What's a decent prep to do it wash down with acetone scuff uh so when the car comes back i would definitely just you could you could wipe it down with uh i would just wash it number one okay uh if it's yeah, maybe not wash it but when you get it back maybe just sand it okay use like you can use 80 grit or 100 grit or 120 grit somewhere around there 120 to or even even 150 150 to 80 grit is a good grit um, To put epoxy on top of okay, just make sure that you do everything in one day Or whatever you sand and prep you're gonna epoxy and cover because if you don't it might get some surface rust Okay, so as far as after you sand it wipe it down with wax and grease remover or some kind of cleaner you know, you could use acetone. You could use, I wouldn't use lacquer thinner, but I just get some wax and grease remover, man. Blow, make sure it's all blown off and clean. Wax and grease it, clean it, and then spray your epoxy right on top of it. I would put like two heavy coats on it. Let that dry for a day. Uh, and then you could fill it up with 2K filler primer, whole thing. And then you could do your body work on top of that. Okay, let's. How about we do this so you guys can actually see? I forgot to do this. How's that? I need to repaint my front clip on my RC350. Hood also needs touching up. Should I repaint both and feather into the front fenders? Yeah, why not? Why not? And I would actually base coat your front fenders and then clear it, like paint the whole thing, not not blend into it paint the whole thing front paint the whole front clip hood front bumper and the fenders whatever you're painting one shot and then and then you could just um buff out the rest of the car to match the new paint what's up richard finally caught the live welcome to the live richard welcome welcome when painting chrome, what grid would you sand it with? Also, do you need to sand down sand down the epoxy before spraying 2K filler? You do not need to sand down the epoxy. You can spray right on top of it. You can spray right on top of it as long as the epoxy is fresh for about a week. After sitting for about a week, I mean, the window time on epo spraying over uh, epoxy with 2K is, is about five days. Um, anything longer than that, I would scuff very lightly with maybe 220, 220 grit, just to scuff it, blow it off, wipe it off again, and then 2K filler prime on top. Tony, do you suggest dupli color spray paint? I mean, it's okay. I think all spray paints, you know, are not the best for long-term finishes unless you're using a 2K 
clear coat on top of it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it depends on what you're doing. Depends on what you're doing. Hey guys, Anthony from Australia here. Finally got the time difference figured out to catch the live. What's up, Anthony? What's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mechanic says, working on an 85 Ford F-150. Paint has peeled to the metal. Surface rust is building. Want to sand and prime. Want to sand and prime for, uh, for painting at a future date. You could do that, but just remember, primer is porous. Okay, it's a porous finish. A primer is not a sealer. Okay, it's not good to just have a car primed and driving around for a long time. You could, you could, I've done it. But if you're going to do that, you're going to want to make sure you sand it down really good before paint. And if it looks like you need more primer in certain areas to give it another coat of primer uh, in those areas before you paint. But you could do it. You could do that. I would definitely use um, an epoxy primer over the metal and then followed by probably three heavy coats of 2K filler primer. And then you could just let it go for a little while like that. You know, it's it'll protect the metal. But just remember that primers are porous, right? There's like little holes in them in, in, in the finish. It's not sealed. You guys get it? Okay, paint will seal it from the elements. Uh, whether you do a base coat, clear coat paint job or a single stage, acrylic or synthetic enamel, right? That'll seal your primer and the paint job, basically. Let's go, painters. Hit that like button and support. Yeah, hit it. Hit it, guys. Hit it, hit it, hit it. And I would go to the garage right now and and like do this, but these I got the guys working in there drilling, make a lot, making a lot of noise. Uh, they're building out the aluminum uh, tracks and stuff for the for the gate. Join VIP course. Florida Custom Fab says, "My cow, new hood came." came early edm coating it's primer so you got the black primer and i left it on my truck for a few weeks now the coating can wipe off onto your finger would you send it down and reprime it all over again absolutely uh if you're having that i don't know why the black coating is coming off like that it's kind of weird um but i would definitely sand it down put some epoxy primer on it and 2K filler primer. If you want to cheat, you could just put 2K on top of metal, to be honest. But if you want to go, you know, technical, correct, you know, then put an epoxy primer on it, then 2K filler primer, okay? Um, and then and then you're good for paint. What's up, Gavin from South Africa? What's up, what's up? Arnold, thank you for the wonderful comment and, and the support for Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP. Um, we're adding new material to the program this year, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> we have a lot of projects coming, and all of those projects will be organized, uploaded into VIP. Um, a friend of mine wants to paint his, I don't know, 95 or 98, I don't know what year it is, a Honda Civic hatchback. Um, he's got a new body kit, so we're going to be putting a new body kit and fresh paint on it. So that'll be coming up as well, as well as the other projects. But this weekend, I've been busy. I did this gate thing for you guys, uh, recorded it. So that's going to come on YouTube this week. And then we got the rest of the motorcycle Honda Grand project that's about to get released as well. So we got a lot of content coming out every single week, guys. Could I use acetone to clean over spray on a car? Uh, I mean, I guess you could. I don't. A lot of people talk about acetone. I never really got into using it. You could, but I just get some wax and grease remover, guys. What's the big deal? <laughs> get the proper stuff. Only thing I regret about joining VIP was that I waited too long to join. Should have done it from the beginning. Arnold, <laughs> thanks for the support, buddy. You're awesome. I hope everything's going well with everybody out there um things are opening back up i don't know how it is in your states but things are opening back up 
Um, so yeah, let's let's see what let's see what happens. Bitcoin's also going back up. Uh, thank you to El Salvador. VIP pays for itself the first time you repaint your vehicle, in my humble opinion. Thank you, Stephen Mitchell. You are awesome. Thank you so much. One gallon should be more than enough to paint my BMW. Absolutely. One gallon. What are you doing? Single stage or base coat, clear coat? Because if you're doing base coat, clear coat, three quarts will be more than enough. Because that's going to give you a gallon and a half of sprayable materials, right? With base coat, clear coat. With base, it's normally a one-to-one -one mixture, okay? How do I fix chips? Didn't see it in VIP without having to clear the whole hood. Well, it's in VIP, all right? We cover both scenarios. Um, paint chips, you could just get a little paint mixed up and dab it to do it correctly you have to clear the whole hood you have to repaint the whole thing to do it correctly because you're going to be doing you're going to be glazing the chips you're going to be feathering it out you're going to be 2k filler primering blocking basing the section or even the whole hood and then clearing the whole thing okay so to make it come out nice it has to be repainted okay but i do show you that way in vip over various projects Okay, and we also go over touch-up chips in VIP. <clears throat> Basically, just get your paint and just fill up your little uh, chips. Um, and just remember, get a toothbrush with some simple green or whatever. And and if you if you have that old school wax buildup in those chips or whatever compound or whatever, you're gonna want to make sure you clean those chips out before you do anything, right? Those chips have to be clean of any sort of compound or wax or whatever, okay, uh, before you do any any uh, repainting. So just keep that in mind. Been having some paint matching issues. So far, I've tried Martin Sr. and now I've tried deleting with PPG. Shade still not matching. Got to get redone. Yeah, maybe uh, if you want, send me some uh, send me some images or a video at Tony at LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. I can take a look for you, maybe give you an idea. Um, if you're having a problem with color matching, you might want to take your car down to the paint shop where they could put the machine on it and make the color for you. Okay, I don't know if it's a custom color that you're dealing with. I don't know. Thank you, Gavin Sigamoney. Is that your real last name, Sigamoney? Imagine if you changed it to a B, it would have been like Gavin Bigamoney. <laughs> Do you figure the electrical? Did you figure out the electrical problem on your bike? I did not. Arnold was nice enough to send me some videos, but it's not that. It's not the brake sensor for some reason. It's not because I took it off, you know, left it decompressed, and then I pulled on it, brake lights still in, in the front. I don't know. It's And I don't know if the brake lights are on high or low as is because I don't know. They might be stuck on high, you know, like, like the double lighting. But it shouldn't be because there's nothing pushing the brake sensor. I don't know. I checked. I checked the uh, the fuses. I just don't know what it is. And also, my neutral light used to pop on green when when it was a neutral, but that's not on green either. So I haven't really spent a lot of time on it. You know, I I just rechecked those little sensors. The sensors seem okay, but for some reason, and it was working before. It was working before I took it apart. You know, I remember the neutral turning green and I remember the, the you know, the brake lights. Were, I don't know. It could be the light. But if it was the light, why is the neutral not working now? So I don't know. Maybe I got to I got to spend some time. I got to check it out. Sig of money all the way. Base coat, clear coat. So Arnold, are you painting the same color or a different color? Because I even think if you're doing the same color, three quarts is going to be more than enough for door jams and for the body. 
um, it's a lot of paint, man. A gallon and a half is a lot of base coat for a little 325 IS. Is it a two door? 325 I four door. So I sh you should still have enough. I'm using a Harbor Freight compressor, Fortress. I feel I need a low volume, low pressure gun. I need to work on my pressure settings. I noticed you spray at 25 to 30 from previous videos. So gonna try that. You can also spray, you know, I, I've been noticing with the Infinity, with the X88 Infinity Atom, you can spray at lower pressures uh, than the X27 low volume, low pressure. Uh, and I was spraying at about 22 PSI uh, for the single stage, and it was laying on really nice. <clears throat> so if you guys are looking for an awesome spray gun, check out Zula.com. Um, and check out the X27 or the X88 spray guns. They're, they have the low volume, low pressure. Uh, great gun by the way, and I've been using that for a lot of my projects, The actually the X88, and um, we're going to be doing a BMW project next, so that's pretty exciting. We're going to be doing the BMW next, probably start doing some videos and body working it toward the end of this week, so we have a lot of content coming out, guys. Arnold, thank you. Well, maybe we'll do a video chat. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We'll make time. Maybe if not this week, probably the weekend. I'm, I'll have a little bit more time on the weekend. Same color, Arnold. Man, you're going to need... You could probably get away... Is there a lot of fading? You could probably get away with a half a gallon, man. Half a gallon. And you're probably not going to have to paint the door jams. So I would get a half a gallon of base coat, man. More than enough. That's going to be a gallon of, of sprayable material. Yeah, guys, smash the like button. I don't know how many likes we got now. I'm on. I'm in the StreamYard tab, so I don't really see it. 15. Okay, smash the like button, guys. Whatever. I really don't. I really don't care if you guys hit it or not. I'm not really. <laughs> I'm not really into those vanity metrics. But yeah, if you guys want to hit the like button, hit it. If not, if you're too lazy, whatever. Um. Uh, okay. Sounds like a wire cross somewhere. Maybe, maybe, but it's so simple. You know, it's, it's a simple hookup. And I know it didn't screw up because my blinkers work. You know, there's power going to the light. And I tried different variations, right? I, I tried kind of testing. And, you know, some ways didn't work. Some ways worked. And we'll figure it out. What did you end up spraying, CDP Performance? Which one did you get, the Infinity or the Blue Moon? You sprayed what at 21 PSI? Was it base coat, clear coat, or single stage? I'm curious because I want to know, you know, what what you guys – because one of my boys at the body shop, he sprayed base coat, clear coat at 24, 25 total. Like even the clear he laid on at 25. Usually I'm, I'm laying clear at 26, 27. Uh, but this one consumes a little bit less. You need a little bit less pressure, I notice. But it, I don't think it'll hurt. You can still bump it up to 25, 26, 27 uh, for clear coat. It's not going to hurt it. You're just going to get more coming out, you know. All right. Any last questions, guys, before we head out? We got a couple minutes left. Just chilling with you today. Any last Q&A questions? If not, um, keep your eyes open for the new video drop on Thursday. Single stage PPG. Oh, nice. Nice. That stuff. I love single stage, man, because that it just lays on so thick. And, you know, guys, with single stage, you don't have to be that anal with prep because it just fills everything. You know, you can have 240 grit, 
you know, two, 240 grit and you can spray single stage on it. I've done it and it comes out good. But I still like to prep and finish at 400 even when spraying single stage. It's just I just like to finish at 400 no matter what I do, you know. Um, but but you don't have to be as nitpicky uh, with with single stage for sure. Steven said he got good results uh, spraying at 20 to 25 PSI. Trickster 68, getting ready to paint my Harley. Um, oh, that's a cool. I would love to see that color. Metallic. I have an idea, but I would like to see your version. Copperhead burnt orange. I'll try to post some pictures. Yeah, definitely post some pictures on Instagram if you can. And then tag Boss Painter, tag LABA PVIP, uh, or just tag Learn Auto Body and Paint. And I will definitely see them. Uh, or even tag Paradise Garage with a I C E D I D I C E Paradise. Yeah, Harbor Freight or Amazon. Like I got the Amazon Easy Weld. <coughs> Good little welder. I actually got to weld the bracket uh, for my Grom exhaust. I need a custom bracket to hold that pipe better. Painted my complete Dodge Ram 3500 Dually. PW7 White loved that PPG Defleet Essentials is a great single stage. Would you end up paying for the gallon kit on that white or for a gallon? Just curious. Thank you, Brian H. Paradise Garage. You spelt it correctly. <laughs> I'll do my best, always. Chris W., my truck's frame is powder-coated. My cabin bed are on dollies. Debating on whether to paint them on the dollies or on the frame. It's up to you, man. It's up to you. If you're doing a custom color, I would highly recommend... Uh, Having the car put together as much as possible where your panels are, are close so you can see and, and make sure your panels are the same color, especially if you're doing a candy, you know, flake, pearls. You guys hear, heard me say this many times, but uh, but if you're doing a solid color or a, a metallic but stock bone, nothing custom where you're adding a three stage, uh, you know, not, nothing like a three stage system or candies or whatever to your, uh, or flakes in your clears or candies in your clears. Um, just keep that in mind. Two tone. If it's a two tone stock solid color, you could do it any way, any way you want, I guess, as long as you're not doing uh, custom, like I said, yeah, and that's a big thing too, scratching and, and messing up your panels once you're aligning and putting things together. Um, I'm a big fan of having the whole thing kind of as close as possible, you know, in the shape of a vehicle. I'm a big fan of that, you know. But, I mean, small pieces, you're not going to really tell. Like the Honda Ground Project, it was a custom candy with flake, you know, metal flake and, and candies and all, and the pieces were all apart, but because the pieces are so close together when you're painting, you can see all the panels and they're so tiny that it's really not going to make a big difference. But when you're doing large panels on a car, like a, like a hood, you know, and then a fender off of it, you want to make sure you got the same color tone, you know, from top of the fender to hood and all that. Just, just be careful. That's all. 200 bucks a kit. Adam X88 laid down perfect at 21 PSI. That's awesome. Hey, CDP, did you post any pictures of that? Man, I would love to see some pictures of that. Tag tag it to tag it to us on Instagram or or uh I'm just sitting over here. Okay. Tag us on Instagram or send us some photos at um at Tony at learn auto body and paint.com. All right, guys. So I'm going to, I'm going to head out 232 here. Um, 
Oh, God, the Grom came out awesome. Yeah, you guys haven't even seen the final project on video. So you guys are going to see that. It's going to be coming out within the next weeks. I'm just releasing bits and chunks of it. The next video is going to be painting the candy rims. You guys are going to get that. Um, but before that, I think this week I'm going to release the gate project. And then soon, very soon, we'll have the wheels for the Grom and then the rest of the body panels on the, on the, on the uh, Grom. So anyway, guys, Tony here hanging out with you. If you guys are looking for great guns, check out Zula Adam guns. I use them all the time. And if you're a newbie, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com uh, to get some free auto body training. If you're a brand new newbie here, you you know, and, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Have a good week, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Uh, and more things coming. Hey, Tony, do you remove paper and tape after priming and remask again before painting? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Um, if you have fast masking, uh, if you did a fast masking job that's not the best, then I would definitely take it off and re, you know, sand it, whatever, and then remask it. But yeah, I would. I did not for the rims on my bike. I left I left it all masked up. I did the primer, sanding, wet sanding, washed it, base coat, clear coat, candy, all with the same because I just didn't want to retape that uh, bike rim out. But most times, yes, you do, okay? You're going to mask up for primer. You're going to prime, okay? You're going to sand, do whatever, take everything off, make sure your edges because, you know, when you prime, you got you – got, Sometimes you got a hard edge somewhere that needs to be feathered. So you need to take off that tape, make sure you're sanded nice and clean in all your nooks and crevices and grooves and all that, uh, and then remask and prime and paint. All right. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Hit that like button on the way out. New video drop coming this week on YouTube. Keep your eyes open for that. Also, send, I'll send out an email uh, notifying you of that. And um, yeah, I'm just here cranking, guys. We got a lot of videos coming out. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'll see you next week, Monday, like this. Uh, next week. Last question. Let me just get this right here. Would you recommend sanding 2K primer sealer finish one brand? Car is sitting for about three days. Yes, why not? You could sand it. You could sand it. Uh, 2K primer filler sealer. Okay. Uh, you could sand a 400, get it ready for paint, and blast on top of that. All right. Talk to you soon. Keep cranking. Have a great day. And uh, have a good evening. Laters, guys. Peace. Shaka. Mahalo. Thank you guys for tuning in. Seriously. Appreciate it. Oh, shit. Another question. Tony, question. If you have a little bit of paint paint in one can and the same paint in another, rat in another can, would you recommend putting both together? Yeah, why not? Absolutely. Mix it together. You're good. All right. Cheers. Peace out.